It's time for the Gizwiz with Matt's Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1833, recorded Thursday, May 27th, 2021. Plug and pray. This episode of the Gizwiz Dicky D has a $6 version of a $26 gadget he's already covered. We also have some foldable toys. I have the last of my anti theft gadgets and your viewer videos. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same show with Dicky D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the moderator of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing great. It's you have any big plans for the four-day weekend? No, nope, none. <laughs> well, I am getting a bicycle delivered. I'm super excited about it. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be exciting. Um, but it's going to rain every day of the <laughs> weekend and next week. So I'm probably not going to get to ride it. But oh, oh that had yeah, been my the plan. weather forecast for the city is dreadful too it's uh 20 degrees below normal Ugh. um monday's a possibility of some sunshine but outside of that it's it's not going to be uh great you know is it an electric bike or just a pedal it is bike? it is a pedal assist electric oh. bike i'm crazy oh. excited about it crazy oh great excited. Well, you're going to yeah. do a video for the show, right? I will. I will. I'll definitely do a video for the Gizwiz. Um, it has been, I think I've waited, I've definitely waited over a month. It may be a month and a half at this point that I've waited uh, for this so bike. So not Amazon. No. No. <laughs> this is not an Amazon Prime bike. Oh, um, okay. But yeah, I'm very, very, very excited about it. So I cannot wait. I've gotten all the accessories for the bike already. So I have like... You know, my phone mount, and I got my, you know, my cage for the back, and uh, lights and stuff. So I have, like, everything but the bike. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I, I know that that drill really well. It's like... Of, of buying a lots of stuff for something <laughs> something coming in the mail. Yeah. Uh, nothing to really... Well, last Sunday we had Shred Day... Uh, Shred Day is, is a great event. It's once a year wow. and it's put on by, uh, a councilwoman Helen Rosenthal, who has an office on 72nd street. So it's just 10 blocks down West End Avenue. And once a year, she rents a giant truck full of shredders. <laughs> and if you live on the upper West side, it's very... It just says you, each person is allowed up to three boxes. There are no dimensions as, <laughs> as to what the, what the box is. Shoe, Probably yeah, a shoe box. The weight of paper, you would just think a box you can carry because. Yes, yeah, that would, that would, that would limit it. That would be limited. But I had years of uh, bank forms and stuff. It, it actually filled um, like a, sm a small orange crate. And that included Dennis's stuff. And you go down there and there was only three people online before me. And you could hear the racket in the truck. And I said, just to be sure, the man who was loading it, I said, it's being shredded here on this, in that truck. Right? <laughs> they don't just take said, it from, yeah, believe us, we'll <laughs> shred this important information yes, yes. with all of your social security yeah, numbers yes, and stuff. everything on it right um he said sir that truck is full of men with scissors they are cutting <laughs> and shredding <laughs> he goes no that that truck is full of people playing electric guitar they are shredding it up Sh in there oh that's right that kind that kind so that is uh, so hopefully so that, i um, wonder if there's I'm, any I'm, layer of security in that your shredded paper and bits of you know docu i've all you know there's the worst case scenario you, you get the little piece of paper you put it together but i wonder if there's any extra security in that it's just this massive pile of paper everyone's stuff is in there 
I wonder if that. I th I think helps. I think it's that way because it. I believe it had the name of the shredding company on the side, so they would. Oh yeah. Uh, you know it, it's well it's it's crush shredding. I think that's the best, right? right. Where it shreds in every direction, so right. that. And they're also you know, like, like little. Uh, you yes, want little almost like pellets. You don't want yes. like a long strip that you could easily just kind of lay back. Exactly. Yeah. Confetti. The twenty nine dollars shredders do that. It, it, right. Basically, it makes nine columns out of your <laughs> right thing, and hopefully the the crook is going to go. Oh, I don't want to paste this together. Let me just right. go find somebody who hasn't torn theirs up enough. Um, so anyway, that was a, a fun thing to do. That's so interesting. That's so cool. And. Outside of that, got I, some, I feel uh, like that's one of the things that's like only in New York, like, or it, it has to be a, just a huge city. It's like, everybody come on down and let's shred some <laughs> stuff. Let's you shred. Know? <laughs> they, should, they should bring the truck back New Year's Eve and then you could shred and throw. Yeah, yeah. You got your own, you know, confetti right there. Um, yeah. Because. Uh, yeah. Uh, Karaninsky, if I'm, I'm murdering that name. Yes, it is Iron Mountain. That was uh, who the truck was from. Yeah, it's so cool. What a fun thing. It's like a community community shred day. Yeah, it was, it was, it. It was very fun. You know, the the the, the, the Upper West Side, I, I guess all communities do that, but they do neat things. They have um, a refrigerator on 77th Street and bins around it and people who are homeless or just don't have any food if you have extra food uh you can walk by the refrigerator and put stuff in it oh. and if you are hungry or have no food you can go to the refrigerator and take whatever you want and sometimes you know we'll go through stuff and i'll say dennis we're never gonna uh open it we're never gonna and we just make a shopping bag of stuff that's you know that make sure the dates are good and just put it out there so that's it's, cool. it's kind of it's like a little town kind of thing it's it's fun yeah that's awesome it's really cool <clears throat> well let's jump into some gadgets jump in okay let's take a look at something new from wowie something new from wowie called pop to play from flat to that okay the <laughs> object is you can unfold it kids can play with it and then you can store it like behind the couch or under a sofa or under a bed. So I slip the box open. And uh, um, uh, uh, um. now this says assemble in under five minutes. I bet we can do it in, I bet we can do this in under 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um. Well, oh, okay. Uh, there are some parts here. That turns out to be a, a thing you can add onto the roof if you want it to look more like a racing car. Um, okay. Stand the car upright. Pull the sides out. Wheels on the ground. ground. Yes, the oh, wheels down. Straighten it all the way out. It starts. We're gonna have to fix that. And then actually, that uh, steering wheel goes in there. So that 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 is the proper way. There's another piece that goes over that. Into and so then interesting. I feel like I would love this as a child. This would just be so fun to just get in there and pretend that you had a car. Yes, I think kids will like it a lot. Okay. I was not very good at this. <laughs> you needed the professional uh, installers to come in. Install it, yes. Make your cardboard uh, car. That's not going to look like a car. Okay, so what we're going to do is come back. All right? Of course, I have to get unpack the parts. And we'll see how it does. <laughs> Eight minutes, okay? It's it's really very easy once you... It made more sense when we like to look at the directions. And then it comes with accessories. Um, <laughs> comes with fake tools. 
and originally I was driving it with the pizza, then I realized, <laughs> or I was doing, man, I saw a pizza wheel. So there's two little pizza signs if you want to make it a pizza delivery thing. Um, I looked on Amazon, so Herculean people said, oh, it took me one minute, and then someone else said five. Uh, we're at eight minutes, okay? But it's very cute, okay? Pop to play, and it's a whole line from Wowie. There's a slide. There's a blue car, a pink car. The car is up to uh, 50 pounds. And then there's a, a, a very large one that is a kitchen on one side and, nur and a nursery on the other side. And then the optic is you ha actually have to pop these things out and then the car will fold up again in the way it was in the box. Pop to play from flat to that from Wowie. That is, this is like the perfect merger of, you know, being in a cardboard box and just making your imagination, you know, be yes. the toy. Um, exactly. And it comes with, you know, a cardboard toolkit right. and pizza signs <laughs> and that, that fake pizza. Um, That's awesome. It, it's $25. There's a pink and a blue one. As much as my cat and, loves uh, boxes, I think that my cat would love this, you know? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And then they also make a slide. Oh, and then they make that big kitchen thing. That's 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 clear. It's a nursery on one side of it and a kitchen on the other side of it. That's so cool. And then it comes with uh, a lot of little accessories that kids can play. And there's the slide up at the top there. I'm I'm uh, so surprised pop. that a cardboard slide could take the weight of even like a three-year-old yeah you know the it, the folding up is is pretty neat and and it's a very heavy uh kind of cardboard that they use and it looks like the slide is the easiest one to fold up the car you have to take out a, a two cross pieces and then it will fold up and and slide away but again like if you have an apartment great to throw behind a couch or right. under the under a sofa or something that is so cool i love yeah. it do you Pop remember to play um d the nintendo switch used to do or i guess they still do it but they have like this game mode where you buy these cardboard pieces and then you put it together and then you can like play games with your nintendo switch it feels like there's like this whole brand of cardboard toys um, oh, you, you you can use your toys in the game? Yeah, so it actually, um, let me, I, it has a specific name and I'm totally forgetting it here. Um, uh, Labo, there we go. Here it is, Labo. Oh, Labo, okay. And okay. so you build this thing and it, um, uh, you can actually put your your controllers in it and you, oh and, i remember that yeah yes. and it would work um with the game with the you know with the it has an ipad like sort of surface um and so it could use the sensors in the controllers for some stuff you would use the camera on the device for other stuff you would use the gyroscope on another thing for something else and so it, you yeah, know, it could do I, all I these. I do remember that now. Things. It was it very, yeah, very clever. Yeah. And for a while, Le Lego had, um, you could build char Lego characters, and then you put them on this little stand, oh, yeah. and then it would make this sucking sound. Remember yeah. that Lego universe? Would, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And you and you could play things like you could put Homer Simpson into a Superman game. Right. 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 Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Right. And yeah, Google Cardboard. There's a whole cardboard industry out there, folks. Yeah, absolutely. Consumer As, cardboard. And that, easy to recycle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, so something really neat from Five Below. Take a peek at this. Welcome to another edition of the Disneyland Lab, okay? Eh? Eh? Do we need more than that? I don't think so. I hope not, because <laughs> we, we don't have got anything it. more than that. I mean, okay. <laughs> Remember this from, uh, oh, like maybe a month ago, the $25 karaoke mic? 
All right. I got an email from Five Below. What? For the Bluetooth karaoke studio mic with speaker. Five dollars and ninety five. Oh, this is okay. Five dollars and ninety five cents. Okay. How close are they? Well, we're going to do an unboxing and find out. Well, first of all, it could be pretty much the same mic. Now, I can tell in the photo it doesn't have all the bling on it. And you can order red, black, or white. So I thought black is more professional. <laughs> okay. I think no rhinestones. No, but we can take it out and watch it be a tiny little microphone. It's uh, going to be two inches tall. What that was? Yes, exactly. Oh, the charging cable? No, I've had that happen where uh, you, you open it up and you go, oh, that picture is so deceptive. Then, you know what? I Did think... It come from the same factory? The Minus the bling. Let's oh look my at gosh, the, yeah. It has to be. Look at this. It's, the buttons yeah. are a little It is different. the same mic. Oh, no, they're not. They're the same. Just the uh, buttons you know, I wonder exactly if the it same came thing. with any sort of a charge in it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just those LEDs next to each other. Oh, it's the same thing. It's the same uh, mic. It, didn't, it well, wasn't charged. If I turn it on up. again, you can see the, li the lights. It, they're the same. So, I start start it up. What is there's enough battery power for it to light See, up? That, it that is up. insane. That's um, crazy. And this this is more professional looking. Oh, yeah, I think when you <laughs> using this mic. Uh, so, I I think this is a very good bargain. If you can live without the bling, you can save nineteen dollars. Okay. Twenty four ninety five or twenty four ninety nine for this one, and this one was five ninety five, um, and this one that they're shipping now at five below. Okay, everything ships for five dollars and ninety five cents. So no matter how much you buy, it's five dollars and ninety five cents. But even adding those two together, it's half the price of this. That's it. The Bluetooth karaoke studio wireless mic. That turns out to be the same as the one with all the bling on it. And if you know if you have a lot of clamshells around, you can just glue them on. Just hit them with a hammer, <laughs> glue them on. Uh, and you'll have a professional mic like that. That's it. The lab does it again. <laughs> Bye. The lab succeeds. So, yeah. So there's uh all right, so after I charge it up, there's there's one difference. Okay. Uh, first of all, these must have been designed for something totally different because they each have a SD micro SD, a mini SD card slot on the bottom. Huh. Okay. And they have a record button. Hmm. Neither one of the instructions say anything about a way to record anything. As a matter of fact, the only difference is on the $25 one, when you push the record button, it's a, it's a voice changer. It changed your voices four different ways. On the cheapy one, when you push the record button, <laughs> it's, a, it's supposed to be a crowd. The crowd claps and cheers for you. <laughs> That's the only difference. And there's only two, only two sounds. That... <laughs> That's funny. But so, you know, I assume they have to make money at $6. What does it cost to make these? I can't, I can't believe it has to be like a dollar, too. Yes. I mean, at yes. most it's four bucks, right? And they take a $2 profit, I guess. May, yeah. It, oh, it's Bluetooth, rechargeable, uh, has a microphone jack at the bottom. So, in case you want to practice your karaoke, now you have to get your own software. There's no software that comes with it, but rechargeable battery. <laughs> um, I was really amazed at um, what kind of a buy you can get at. Uh, and, you know, if you pick it up in the store, there's no shipping, it'll just be. Uh, five ninety five. Unless they just make it five dollars if you go to the store, I'm not sure. Yeah, they might. But. They might. Um, 
That is so funny. I'm looking at Isn't Alibaba it? now to see if I can find anything. Oh, cheaper? <laughs> yeah, and, and there are some, it's not the same, but look, $3 to 370 So that hits in our price point that we're talking about. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Yeah, you're right. Look at this. They're different. The, the, the button layout is different. Right. But uh, yeah, I can't find the one that you have yet, but still, I, that's, it's so shocking. Why can't this type of cheapness be available for all sorts of other stuff? You know, I need that for... I, I can't think of an expensive thing. Yeah, cars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's oh, for I cars. bought that new Tesla. You know, uh, the Tesla, it was uh, uh, $100 even at uh, five below. <laughs> right. Now it's called 100 below. Right. But it's it's last year's Tesla, but I figured for $100. Yeah, you know, I mean. Oh, I'd and it runs on AA it. batteries. That That's a problem. We need this for the healthcare system. <laughs> I don't know if I trust <laughs> yes. it. Exactly. But uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. So six dollars, and you happily play, paid twenty six dollars for the same yes, thing. Yes, I thought it was, I thought it was a good deal. I think I, it might have been a dollar less. I think it was twenty four ninety nine. I thought it was pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, and and I don't miss not having the bling at all. Right. <laughs> right. So cool. Um, five below. Uh, all right, uh, my final gadget here is another uh, interesting gadget. You know all about these things. I did not know about this. I have a Canon Vixia camera, and this is it here. It's the Vixia HFR800, and I've really not been using it much. And then recently, I saw this ad on Amazon, okay, for the Grace Top. <laughs> we all know that name, right? The Grace oh, Top yes. Audio Video Capture Card, so you can get video from your uh, camcorder or your DSLR into your computer, okay? So I bought one, uh -uh. and I suddenly realized, I hope I have the cable yeah. that will go from the camcorder to this device. And fortunately, there is one in the box, okay? This is it, so it's uh, mini at one end, mini HDMI out and stand it at the other end. So I'm going to plug that into the camcorder. Uh -uh. HDMI. Okay. HDMI out. Let's get this guy out. And no software. Okay. It says plug and play. And then in parentheses, <laughs> it should say lots of luck because I have no luck with plug and play. <laughs> It's more like plug and pull your hair out. All right, so I'm going to plug that in. Oh. <laughs> uh, why your plug and play won't plug and play? Uh, troubleshooting. All right. So now, the, it doesn't matter that you can't see this. It's going to go into the computer, USB in, standard. Okay, and kind of sad that I didn't hear. Oh, I just saw a flash up there. It said camera loaded. <clears throat> so now I'm in Skype, and I'm going to go to Skype and go to cameras. Uh -uh, Dennis settings. is creeping away from the front of the <laughs> audio <desk> video. <laughs> to try and right now we're there. using the C922. Okay, we're going to use this drop down menu. And USB video, that must be that uh, card I just plugged in. Oh my goodness! This looks like the output from... This is the output from the camcorder. Plug and play! This is really great! You know what, this is really nice. So the advantage of having a camcorder as opposed to a webcam is you know, it's going to have a really low, the zoom range doesn't mean much indoors. Although you can see I can almost zoom in on a hinge. Let me zoom out again. Okay. 
So this is going to do a lot more than a webcam could ever do, uh, than your, yeah, than your webcam can do. So this is a way to hook up a camcorder or a DSLR to your computer. This is really nice. And it's inexpensive. There it is over there, uh, $12.85. And right now, as we're recording this, like it's May 26th or so, 15% uh, off by clicking the coupon. And I'm gonna turn it in and look in the camera. Okay, just stop there if you okay. can. Okay. Oh, so this is what happened. The This is the second take, the second time we did this. The first time we did it, the camera came up the way you saw it yeah. and shut off and came back and shut off. It just kept going on and off and on and off. And I was joking that, thank God Chad's watching this video. He will tell me in a minute that you should have gone into so-and-so settings. Right. And, right. So it looked fine on the phone. And then last night I put it on the screen to edit it. And I realized... I had an order on my desk with all my credit card information oh. on it. And although I didn't see it on the phone, right. on the big screen, <laughs> anybody. <laughs> Hello, Dennis, can you come back down again? We have to shoot that video. <laughs> so we shoot it again. Everything works perfectly. It works great. Every There's nothing wrong with anything. Oh my but gosh. I like the little ending that I had done on the first one complaining that you would solve my problem. Right. So this is how the video would have ended. Okay, okay, here we go. My gosh, it's staying on. Oh, okay, now I'm semi-impressed, okay? You know when you say <laughs> Chad's name, gadgets just go, he knows Chad, <laughs> and then they behave, all right? So that is very funny. That is very, yeah. very funny. Yeah. So maybe the first time, maybe a cable wasn't all the way in. Yeah, maybe. But it's one of the few times that something just did it. Because in the reviews, there were people saying, oh, don't forget, if nothing shows up, go in and reset the resolution to this. And, and I'm thinking, this is not exactly plug and play. But for right. me, uh, it did just work. That's awesome. So, That's awesome. So uh, yeah. one thing is also, I think that you can, there's a mode on the camcorder itself that you can say, hide all of the menu things so that you don't see the zoom bar and stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh okay. I'm pretty positive that exists. Um, pretty sure that exists. Whereas you can send the clean HDMI out of the camcorder. Oh, great. That's um, great. So here it is, 12 bucks. So you can save an extra 15% yeah. off. Um, so Boy, round you know, the, $2. Th those things used to be like 50 bucks when they first came oh, out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, these used to be incredibly expensive, and I had a few of them. Um, and they also used to be a big breakout box. Um, now, there are still some that are specifically made for, like, gaming where you can have it be oh, just a pass through where you know you can have two hdmi cables and just go and then whatnot um but this is this is wonderful for someone who has a camera that has an hdmi output is wants to use it as a webcam this is great also if you can do something where um if you're playing something where you can deal with the there's like a tiny amount of lag maybe um sometimes in like high performance gaming. You don't want any lag, so you want, you know, the de dedicated thing. But with this, you could use a program like OBS to record videos. Um, you can use Skype to make video calls. Um, it literally just looks like a webcam. So anything that can use a webcam can use this. So yeah, it's, no, it's yeah, really it's nice. great. It's great. Um, all right. Then <laughs> Buddy Eight says he has the three hundred dollar version of this. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yeah. I'm, um, yeah. All right. So the end of the month time for Chad's you last. Don't need it, but you might want it. At Chad's crappy corner. Get it. Get it. This week we have a alarm system for bikes. Ooh. I recorded a video Ooh, about it. Oh. So. Go check it out. 
Hey DGD, we are back with another security and anti-theft gadget. Today we are taking taking a look at the motorbike slash motorcycle anti-theft alarm. So the idea behind this is that this is an alarm which you can lock and unlock with a separate remote that you could leave on a bicycle and if your bicycle is tampered with, it will go off. So what it looks like in the packaging, let's open this up. Here's what it looks like, uh, some of the packaging. It looks like it does have a manual, which looks to be well written. Pay attention, uh, yeah, wow. I'm, I'm kind of um, kind of amazed by that. Um, so there are kind of two layers to this packaging. You have some double-sided tape. It looks like a type of guitar pick, but I'm sure that that's uh, you know, like a, a spudger type thing. It comes with two zip ties and a small little uh, uh, screwdriver right there. Then we have the alarm itself, which has a thing that you rip out of the bottom and a remote. So after looking at the device for a bit, it's very interesting that they went through the process of adding a tiny screwdriver. I appreciate it because this little screwdriver, the only use is to remove a screw at the bottom of the device, which allows you to switch out the three AAA batteries inside of here. It comes with batteries already installed, which is nice. So you don't actually have to do that when you first get, um, get this. Uh, so here is the remote. This is, I can already tell, gonna be very loud. So I'm gonna use my hand to cover up the uh, speaker here. Uh, the first button at the top is to arm this. And now it's armed. And then the one below it is to unarm it. What? There we go, now we're unarmed. The one in the middle of those bottom three buttons is to choose what type of sound the alarm is going to be when it goes off. So it could be that, could, could be that, could be that, or that. Uh, the bottom button is to basically ping it so that maybe if you're searching for this, if you've lost it in a big crowd of bicycles, you can find yours. It's almost like hitting you know, the honk button on a remote to find it. So the bottom button will just play whatever tone that you've already set from the middle button. The instructions are quite complicated uh, oh. to change some of the various settings that it has. It has seven different sensitivity modes, and also mentioned three different uh, alarm uh, levels, volumes. And it's a really weird combination of button presses to get into those settings. So I'm just gonna leave it at default. Let's go install this on one of my bikes. So I'm going to install it onto the front of my electric scooter here, my kick scooter from Nine Bot Segway. And it's pretty simple. You just have these channels for the zip ties to go through, and then we're just going to zip tie it to the front or back or wherever. You can put this underneath a seat or on your handlebars of a traditional bike. I decided to bring this inside because, whoo, it is a hot day in Texas and uh, didn't want to deal with that. So now that it is installed, uh, this is basically only going to protect against the most novel, you know, person who's going to be taking it. If they have a pair of scissors, they could cut this off if they know what this is. <laughs> so uh, hopefully this would be a deterrent to someone who doesn't understand what it is um, and who is not expecting it to make a very loud noise. So we're gonna go ahead and arm this. And the second beep, by the way, is it uh, saying like, you can not touch me loud. now. Oh, Oh, okay. Beeping. I didn't understand like, that at the time. So it, it beats <laughs> like, a second hey, time. I'm armed. Okay, I wish it wouldn't do that. Um, so now I'm going to attempt to move this. I assume that it de detects thievery from movement. So I'm going to set up a camera to do that. Okay, now I'm a would-be thief. I'm going to steal this e-bike, this, ki this kick scooter. It's mine. <laughs> wow. That's very loud. Uh, it's very loud and immediate. That's probably pretty awesome. So... Okay, so hey, that works. Uh, that works actually uh, pretty quickly, incredibly loud, and definitely if I was just a casual thief, I would stay away from something that was making that much noise. <laughs> 
that I couldn't easily just pull off. Now, obviously if I had scissors, pliers, or um, you know, I was actually going to maybe cut a cable. Um, I was expecting to cut a cable on a bike and I saw this one without a cable, you know, that uh, this could be bypassed fairly easily. So I saw in the chat room someone asking, is this better than the electric dog that we covered last week? <laughs> um, and I feel like that would be better used for a home situation because it's it has the mounting to go onto a wall or a desk or something like this. And this, because it has those channels for a zip tie, um, and it really only detects motion of itself, not motion around it. It doesn't it oh, doesn't notice you know, a person moving across the room, which the electric dog did, um, this will only notice itself being moved. Um, so they kind of have different applications. Um, it's 16, it's $17 on Amazon and has some pretty good reviews. So um, I was pretty happy with it. I, I, I think that yeah. um, other you than- You know, also if you, if you installed it way low under the right. battery. Right. I don't think somebody would see where the noise was coming from. Absolutely. You know, on your bike. If you did a good job of hiding it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, and because it, is, it does have that wireless remote, um, no one would be able to, you know, you don't have to get under to wherever you hit it to arm it each time, which is really nice. Uh, surprisingly loud. So this is pretty, I, I agree. I, I feel like the loudness gets diminished through the recording of the video. It is shockingly it loud. Um, I recorded a TikTok of this and I brought it outside and I got embarrassed while just do, going through some of the modes because I was like, my neighbors are going <laughs> to hear this and get really mad at me. I'm going to be like, what the heck is going on over there? Um, so it is incredibly loud. It being outside in maybe a venue where there's a lot of noise, I, I would still feel like it could compete and um, and alert you, especially especially if you're, you know, the idea is the burglar sets off the alarm and even if they take a hammer to it and destroy it within the first 30 seconds, it's already made the sound that, that you can now go and find your bike. Um, so yeah, um, I, okay. I like it. Pretty inexpensive. Um, Gadget for security. So seventeen. You need a lab coat. I do. See, I need... if, if you're outside and all these alarms are going, <laughs> people go out and they go, "It's oh, it's a technician." Oh, oh he just has a lab. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're, that. they're oh, testing stuff. Some professionals going on it's over there. Something scientific going on out there. Let's yes. leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah. So there you go. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. All right, at the last minute, I was on my way to the warehouse to get a gadget since there were no videos, and Buddy Yates jumped in. Hi, Dickie D and Chad. Buddy Yates from Palm Springs with another one-walk gadget video. Um, he, he has some links, but he normally explains a lot in his video, so let's watch buddy's video and if you've never seen a buddy video they're quite interesting yeah they're great hey dick and chad this is buddy yates from palm springs and the title of this video is a soundbar is not a good center speaker <laughs> i bought something that didn't solve my problem but it might solve your problem none of us are getting any younger and it's getting harder and harder for me to hear the dialogue in a movie over all the music and sound effects. I've turned the center speaker up to increase the dialogue and I've turned the left and right and rear speakers down to try and cut down on the, the noise and the music. So I thought I should upgrade my center speaker to something a little better. 
I started looking at center speakers and got off on a sidetrack. The Zvox speakers, um, the company makes a lot of products, um, but they make a bunch of different sound bars to connect your TV with hearing aid technology built in. <laughs> And it's not junky, there's no plastic. It's made out of aluminum. Uh, it costs around, I think the list is around 500. You can find it on uh, Amazon for 300. The Zvox has a port at one end and a four button control panel at the other end. It has a four digit uh, orange display. Zvox makes all different shapes and sizes of sound bars. This is an SB500, which has two optical ends. It's got uh, RCA jacks for baseband, audio in, and it has a subwoofer out, which is not mentioned in any of the reviews I read. My mistake was buying a really expensive sound bar before I fully understood what the problem is. As fun as it is to buy more gadgets, that's not the answer. You can't fix this problem by adding more speakers. Uh, the reason I couldn't hear the dialogue was because I already had too many speakers. I bought a optical splitter so that I could run the TV to both my stereo and the sound bar. I connected my Echo to it and I can use the Bluetooth from my phone or uh, computer. So it does get used, but just not as a center speaker. <laughs> Keep up the great work, and thanks for a great show. Woohoo! Thank, Thank you, Thank you, buddy. buddy. Now, nice. a couple of weeks ago, I did a V-Box, um, a, a much smaller one. Um, but, buddy, I didn't, I didn't even realize that they built great big speakers. With yeah. What they call uh, hearing aid technology. Oh, there it is, at about 400 bucks. Um, no, yeah. that's very nice. Yeah. So yeah. It, so so that it sounds that like Buddy fixed his problem, though, which is good. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> Got to Yes, exactly right. Exactly right. Is that if you buy better speakers, you just get better loud sound covering <laughs> right. the dialogue. <laughs> and when they say uh, hearing a technology, it, it lets you like tune in the dialogue and suppress everything else. Right. Um, and, and I love it. I, I use mine to watch old YouTube videos, old black and white murder mysteries, like from the, the 40s and 50s, where the uh, soundtracks are really bad, and it helps a lot. Yeah. Buddy Yates, thank you so much. Um, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine. And if anybody else wants to send in a video, we're pretty much out of videos, okay? We'd love to have someone new who's never sent in a video. It's so easy. One to three minutes, anything with a gadget, phone video, just horizontal plane. You don't have to be a professional like Buddy and have 87 shots. <laughs> we love, it's good, they're great fun. But just hold the camera, uh, speak about the gadget, old, new, terrible, lovable, and put it up on YouTube. You can click unlisted when you upload it, and then only people with the URL will be able to watch it. Send us that URL, mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show it on the show, we're showing 99% of everything. Uh, you'll get the current issue of MAD and fame, the fame of right. being on this show that's year 15. <laughs> uh, a yeah. lot of staying power. Okay. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Get one in for next Thursday. Do it. With that, let's move on to the letter. Now. Oh, and I should, uh, Buddy H added uh, several links to uh, hearing problems and TVs. And I'll put all those links uh, in the show notes. Uh, email of the week. Uh, good afternoon, Dick and Chad. I know a couple of weeks ago you featured an all-in-one dog water bottle. I was at Target, saw something similar for a dollar. Whoa. 
It's an attachment for a water bottle so your dog can drink. Comes with a carry strap. But I'm really amazed by the price. As you can see below, Target seems to corner the market when it comes to unique items to use with a water bottle. A portable humidifier, which I believe Chad highlighted on the show uh, in the past. And now this new one. However, there is a problem, as you'll see in the photos. The dish doesn't screw onto a standard water bottle. Oh. So if you're dog like soda <laughs> you're in luck it works perfectly in that case thought you would enjoy this oh look at the humidifier yeah, was so the humidifier, humidifier a dollar I, pff, that'd I be shocking know. that'd be amazing that would be shocking um oh, I mean, oh oh wow a buck yeah well you know you know i guess when you finish a two liter bottle of soda <laughs> right. you could just fill it with water <laughs> and uh carry the portable pet bowl that is scooper. weird that it's soda thread versus water thread. water yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of interesting right my dog only drinks tonic water <laughs> exactly um Which i have more of a diet coke dog so uh <laughs> we're just gonna keep to that uh so that's from jeff and um his son who's also a fan jeff and adam Thank uh, so guys, thank you very much for Letter of the Week. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so much for your support of the gizwiz. We really, really, really appreciate it. If you give back on Patreon, thank you so, so, so much. If you like the show and want to give back, head on over to patreon.com slash gizwiz and give back just a little bit. Um, or if you don't want to give via Patreon, we do have a PayPal link at our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab and then head on over to, uh, underneath the big old Patreon uh, logo and there is a PayPal link there. However you give, thank you so, so, so much. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where we are live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific Time, 7.30 Eastern Time. Join the chat room, talk with all the wonderful folks. You can also catch all of our previous episodes there if you don't watch us live. No worries, we have it right there for you. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Sticky D's website where he writes up articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. There you can also play, what the heck is it? The game show online. This is the gadget, the whole gadget. So you gotta guess what that thing is. And um, it's uh, obvious to me that this is a bubble maker. Uh, where you blow on one end and the bubble comes out the other end and these slidey thingies are to determine how big you want your bubble. You know, you want it, you want it longer, you got that, you want it wider, you got that side. That's <laughs> how that thing works. If you think you know what this is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. I think that about wraps it up for our show. So we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>